It's kind of a two-part question. Can you go back to November when you were kind of at the lowest, you know, the lowest point, you know, to where you are now? And then both of you have been here for so long. What is, what's it finally like in this moment? Lowest, lowest point of, of what, the year or the whole time we've been here or what? Yeah. The whole time we've been here? Yeah, I mean, there's been lots of, lots of growing pains for sure. Um, you know, lots of lessons along the way, and um, obviously it feels good. It feels great to be in this position. Um, this was always part of the plan, and it um, feels good to uh, um, be here today. Second row on the right. Uh, Connor and Leon, just for both of you, what does this moment right now feel like to have these fans out here and to do this in front of them? Um, yeah, it means a lot, of course. Um, like Connor said, um, a lot of a lot of painful years that we've gone through, and lot, lots of learning uh, along the way. And um, you know, obviously, to to be able to do it at home, um, and and for this city and for these fans, and um, for for ourselves as well, is uh, you know, it's great. It's a great feeling, of course. Uh, that being said, of course, um, you know, we got we got bigger dreams and, and, and bigger goals right now. And uh, Connor, you, you wore the same suit for Game 4, Game 5, and Game 6. Just want to see if there's a background. Is that on purpose? What's that? You wore the same suit coming into the game for Game 4, 5, and now oh, yeah. 6 here. Is there a story behind that as a superstition? Uh, maybe. Um, let, let you guys speculate. Connor, this was uh, anything but kind of like a straight line or smooth ride for Stu. He had some bumps along the way here, but... When you guys needed him in this game, that's probably as good as he's been in these playoffs. So I just, just your thoughts on the adversity you watched him go through and then what you thought of him when it was in the balance tonight. Uh, well, first off, he was unbelievable tonight. Um, we're not sitting up here um, talking about a win um, if it wasn't for him. Um, you know, we're on, a, we're on a plane to Dallas if, uh, if it wasn't for Stu. So, um, you know, he was unbelievable. He's gone through lots um you know he's still he's still such a young goalie but he's gone through so much um you know i keep saying this a lot of people doubt him a lot of people um don't say the nicest things about him but he is an elite goaltender in this league he really is um he showed that tonight he showed that um over the course of the, the year in the playoffs um you know he uh, he loves pe proving people wrong and and uh, he certainly did that front row left mike yeah um leon you've seen connor do a lot of moves before. Have you ever seen that one? And Connor, can you just, after Leon's done, just take us through the goal and what was going through your mind there? Uh, yeah, it was nice. <laughs> <laughs> seen it before, but nice. Like, um, I mean, yeah, there, there's one player in the world that um, can make plays like that and, and things like that happen. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what to say. Like, he, he knows what I think of him. Um, yeah, I think everybody does. So I'll just leave it at that. It's just um, it's one player in the world that, that can make things like that happen. Third row left, Jason. Oh, oh sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, go, like, the, the goal, um, yeah, you know, um, got the puck from Leo up high and just, um, you know, I like being on that left side. I like being on that left flank and... and Tried to get to the middle of the rink, and uh, that was the best way I thought possible. And just tried to get a uh, back end on it. As uh, some of your other leaders mentioned, obviously you would have liked to press more, but you didn't give up a lot of grade A chances. Uh, you know, Zach said in the past maybe you, you might have you might have broke right, and, and you would have given up the lead. And today you only gave up half. Um, can you maybe talk about just after they made it two to one? I think you only gave up three or four shots after that. What what is it about your teams? Maybe have you learned how to play in those tight games from the pain of losing in the past? Do you notice it when you're on the ice? Um, yeah, we uh, yeah we've closed out big games. Um, it's not always uh, been maybe the the prettiest, um, but we've got it done and that's really all that matters. Um, you know, I thought we gave up a couple of looks coming down the stretch that we'd like to not give up, but, um, you know, guys sacrificing their body with big blocks or, um, you know, Stu making timely saves or whatever it was, um, you know, we've, we got it done and that's all that really matters. We'll move on from this one tonight. Front left, Bob. Uh, Connor, in two series, the penalty killing unit has not given up a goal. How important has the coach in terms of building team 
focused on delineating specific roles and making everybody feel a part of things. Hundred percent, hundred percent. That's so important. Um, everybody's got a piece of uh, uh, a piece of the pie here. Everybody's got a job to do. Um, you know, and uh, maybe for guys who aren't on the power play, um, they're on the penalty kill, and and those guys have done an unbelievable job of. Um, you know, buying in and, and doing an amazing job on the kill. It's been uh, it's been fun to watch, really. Um, I get a front row seat to it. The kill has been um, so fun to watch. Center right, Sean. Uh, to Leon's point before, I mean, I think both you are players who can do things almost no one else in the world can do offensively. But when you guys go down 2-1 in this series, I wonder what you guys take away, what kind of pride you take away from the way your team was able to defend and shut them down offensively for the remainder of that series. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, we take big pride in that. Y you have to in these moments. Um, I think, like Connor said, sometimes it's not pretty, but no team is pretty while while defending a lead with a team, um, you know, sitting uh, two minutes away from being eliminated. Right? They got they got a guy, extra guy out there, and uh, sometimes it's it's a little bit of desperation and a little bit of sacrifice. And um, at the end of the day, we got it done, and it's all that matters. Second row left, Derek. Hey, Connor, Connor, just want to ask you about you guys, you guys yourselves expected you guys to be here. Not a lot of people maybe expected to be here, especially in early November. I just want to ask you about the journey to get here. I know it's, it wasn't easy, but you guys expect to be here. You expect a challenge for the Stanley Cup. Just a thought on that. Yeah, this was always part of the plan. It always has been for this group. Um, you know, it's been a bit of a bumpy road, obviously. Um, you know, whether it be you know, off years or, you know, heartbreak in, in the playoffs or whatever it is. Um, this was always part of the plan to be in this moment. And um, I think the group has always stuck with it, you know, and we've always believed in ourselves and each other and, um, you know, knew that this, you know, to put ourselves in this position was always a possibility and um, feels good to, you know, to have done that. Just a quick one here. Whose idea was it not to touch the trophy, and how quickly did that come around? You know, telling everyone. Yeah, we didn't really talk about it at all um, until the end of the game. Quickly there, but um, I know they didn't touch it. We didn't touch it. Someone's gonna win, so um, you know, we'll see. Center left. Thoughts on all of this? The support for the team. Uh, yeah, it's it's amazing. I mean, this this is what we play for. Um, you know, they been through a lot of heartbreak as well so um, certainly the best fans in the league and can you can you talk about being Canada's team I just spent a week in Ottawa everyone there coast to coast cheering for the Oilers especially now any additional pressure with that um, no um, <laughs> you know there's gonna be pressure playing in the Stanley Cup final um, no matter where your team's from so um, obviously we're a Canadian team we got great Canadian fans and it feels good to uh, maybe unite the country a little bit um, and have something to uh, to bring people together you know that's what sports is all about is bringing people together and and, uh, and um, you know hopefully we're doing that for uh, Canadians across the country we'll take a couple more center left Daniel sorry if you've uh, been asked this Connor but I, I just wonder about Stuart Skinner and, and the kind of the ups and downs that he's faced in the playoffs and, and then right when it counts these last three games maybe your best but player um, yeah, he's been through a lot, um, even for a young goaltender. Um, you know, I think he learned a lot from last year's playoffs. Um, he learned a lot um, through that Vancouver series where um, you know, maybe he, he had some games where he wanted back. But, you know, I think we always believed, um, and he always believed in himself. Um, he's very strong mentally. Um, he really is. Um, yeah, I can't say enough good things about him. He was uh, the reason we won tonight. Last one in German for Leon Andrew on the right. Uh, Leon, Stanley Cup final nach 10 Saisons. Wie besonderes uh, ist es und wie besonderes ist das? Ja, es, beides ähm, unheimlich besonders. Ähm, viele, viele schmerzhafte Jahre hinter uns, ähm, viel Arbeit investiert, ähm, jedes Jahr aufs Neue probiert und ähm, jetzt eine äh, ne Chance zu haben, äh, den Stanley Cup zu gewinnen, ist ähm, ja, traumhaft. Ähm, Freue ich mich drauf und ja. Haben, haben, haben noch einen langen Weg zu gehen, aber ähm, ja, ich, ich freue mich drauf. 